This is when the game is fun, Frank, when you get one high in the air and you have a down breeze and you just watch it stays in the air forever. Be the hang time on that. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. On the green, and a chance for birdie. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Just a couple of feet. In for par. Now we go to the 11th hole, and this is a par 5, but it's actually shorter than the par 4 10th. This one comes in at 530 yards, and, and more evidence of the kind of creativity by the award-winning design team of Patel and Duncan. Well, that's right. Patel really is, is known to be the shaper. He's the one that makes all those interesting shapes of the bunkers. For example, here, nipping it in the fairway, making driver almost too much club, or very, very risky, plus the front bunker there. Now, this is a great par five. The reason why, it's reachable, it's tempting, but you don't know what you're going to finish up shooting on it. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. It, uh, you wonder what he's thinking on that. Playing his third here at the par five. And it makes the green in regulation. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Moving on to the 12th hole now. Par 4, 439 yards. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. That's still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Ball sitting down here in the rough, he's digging in. How good was that, Frank, from the rough? Oh, that's amazing, that's a master class in short game. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business.
Good par. Now to the 13th hole, and Frank, this could make you quake in your soft spikes. 702 yards, par, par five, it might should be a par six or a seven. Well, I think a few people will probably will make six or seven here. You're right, this is a rarity in golf, 700 yards, so forget about any thought of even getting close to this par five and two. Plus, just to add insult to injury, the two bunkers off the tee are perfectly placed. They're about 298 yards, smack bang in the middle of that. Uh, I doubt you can get past those, but you need a good drive, really, to try and leave yourself a, a short third shot. That's nice to roll in a 25-footer now and then. Those feel good, but still, there's nothing like hitting that perfect tee ball, long and straight. Yeah, you can puff out your chest, uh, last to play, the advantage, holes shorter. Basically, the list goes on. Frank, straight uphill with this approach shot, what do you have to factor in in terms of club selection and set up over the ball? Well, you're going to have to take at least an extra club um, to, to make up for that added elevation. And also, it's tougher to get onto that front foot. Not terrible, but not his best. An yeah, outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. You like that right there, Frank? Beautiful lag putt. Great pace. This putt for par. No problems there. Yeah, it keeps the round going, keeps the momentum on his side. Now to the par 3 14th. It is 240 yards. What a golf course, Frank. I mean, this tests the best in the world. I'm talking about McElroy, Jordan Spieth, and Ricky Fowler. We 700 yard par fives and nearly 600 yard par fours. This is all you want. It certainly is, and that's why the, the total yardage of this golf course is nearly 7,700 yards. This par 3 just a beast at 240 yards. One thing you want to do, though, is avoid Lake Zimmer. That big body of water to the right. Um, if anything, though, look at the green. It shapes a little to the right, so you can use that left side of the green, which is away from the lake. It's a smart way to play this. Everybody loves them. Birdie on the car. Rich Lerner back at Lighthouse Point with Frank Nabilo. We're at the 15th hole. Frank, a relatively short par four, 387 yards. Yeah, finally we get one under 400 yards. A little bit of trouble off the tee to be avoided. Bunker left and that little pot bunker on the right. But missed those. And really, this is a uh, very much a scoring opportunity. That's yeah, fine. Frank, what a turn of events here. You're absolutely right, Rich. This round started off completely on the wrong foot. But he's managed to somehow keep his compo composure and turn this round completely in the other direction. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. Birdie here yesterday, trying to do it again today. Comfortably inside the cut line, the young prodigy makes another birdie. A cursory look at the scorecard, Rich, and uh, well, it looks hard at 240 yards, but uh, that elevation is going to chew off quite a bit of yardage off the scorecard. Really, it's a good chance for a birdie on this closing stretch. V-shaped green. As long as you're on the right section of the green, could have a chance for birdie.
Frank, you've played in conditions all over the world. Here come the winds now. What's the mindset? Well, this is really what separates the men from the boys. This is where you've got to tell yourself, and it's an advantage to you. Um, obviously, the scores will go up a little bit, um, given the conditions. But once again, this is going to suit the stronger player today. You like the old phrase, swing easy when it's breezy? Definitely when you're hitting it into a head breeze. But um, if down breeze, tee it up a little bit, try and ride that wind some more. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Really? This is an awkward length. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, couldn't hit that much better. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Seventeenth hole is another par five over 600 yards. You get a terrific view of Juniata Crossway Bridge just ahead. And, and Frank, if you jump over that bridge, you can get a dynamite lobster roll at Nielsen's Lobster Shack. I don't know if you've ever had it. Oh, but it's it, one of the best. It just adds to sort of the charm of this area. But what a hole this is. S-shaped par five. You can see it bending to the right off the tee, and then the hole starts to go the other way. With magnificent view of the bridge you're just referring to. Uh, reachable for the longest hitters, but uh, once again, avoid the bunkers, and they're all down the right side. Second shot coming up here at the par five. Look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is this is going, going, gone. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Wow. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Good-looking putt right here. I might like it. Oh, he's going to love it. How far was that? That was miles away. Now it's the 17th, and Frank, a chance to make a birdie. Who knows, with a couple of huge pokes, you could make eagle three. This is a pretty stout hole at a little bit more than 600 yards. It is, especially if that breeze comes off the water under your face. But uh, normally you're protected here because the hills on the left will block that breeze. Um, bunkers all the way down the right side. You can see that. But, yeah, you're right. Two big hits, and you might just reach this par five and two. Birdie, perhaps even eagle on a good day. Game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort, effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the air. That easy. But those are good numbers right there. 3 2 0. Oh, 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. Probably going to have to hit one more club here, Frank. A little bit uphill. This is a good looking shot. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. Settles in over the putt. So all the scores have been posted for round number two, and look who is on top of the leaderboard, Frank. Yeah, with two very solid rounds of golf, uh, key right now, just stay out of your own way and keep it up. Uh, the pressure will start to build. We know that as you get closer to the end of this tournament.
Disney Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs. It's third round coverage of the Northeast Invitational. Always a pleasure to be along the coast of Maine, Lighthouse Point to be exact. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports. Frank, this is sure to be another exciting day of golf out there. What are the challenges facing our players today? The length of the golf course for a start, Rich, this golf course just under 7,700 yards. It's one of the longest ones you'll play. And, of course, the cliffs, that's why it's called this. They certainly are in play. There is one double green out there. That's the 10th and the 13th hole. They share the same green. Lots of great design features, and you've got it on a prime day in great condition. So enjoy the round, and make sure you feast on the vistas as well. Good contact, good result. In the fairway, down there about 290. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. one starting down the right does not look like it's going to draw back towards the flag but it will catch the green on the green and a chance for birdie here on the first hole Frank going for another birdie here just to get on a real roll looked like Ben Crenshaw right there. That was smooth and easy, right in the heart. Now at the second here at Lighthouse Point, Frank, this is some tough par three. If you want to try and uh, really break the hole down and, and be a purist here, Rich, you'd like to hit a little cut into this green, something that moves away from the water and the cliff back towards that bunker. That would be the perfect shot to hit. It's such a difficult par three. Anything on the green would be good here. And the tee shot ends up in the bunker. Now from the bunker. You know, just a little splash out on this par three. Pretty good shot right there. And getting ready for the putt. Nothing wrong with that par putt. Now the third hole here at Lighthouse Point, par five, 566 yards.
Uh, there is fairway out there. There is. <laughs> he can't find it, though. Frankie's managed to hit it in the rough yet again. Yeah, this is, uh, this is hard to imagine. You know, the fairways aren't that narrow today. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. <laughs> Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Great shot. Get the birdie. Fourth hole and looking for a quality start. It's 411 yards and a par four. No fairway bunkers or bunkers really to contend with here. Cliffs to the left and also water on that side. But one of the wider fairways on this front side made up four by a very small green. That's a good spot right there. Center cup. Right where they were aiming in the fairway. Players aren't just grabbing any old golf club these days, Frank. It's about spin rate and launch angle and all of those sorts of concepts. Yeah, and the grooves. All those things help the player. Even the loft on wedges now. Loft has, incre has increased. We now see 64, 65 degree um, sand irons. So they get the ball up quicker and it stops quicker. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for birdie. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Good putt. Now at the fifth hole, it's a par four. Frank, what are we in store for? Well, it's very easy to get lulled into a false sense of security here, Rich. No fairway bunkers. You just sort of think you would blaze away. But really, you've got to find the fairway here. Very small green and well protected by that bunker short and right of this green. So if you miss the fairway, this hole becomes very difficult indeed quite quickly. Good strike. Good lie. Good chance to attack the pin. So this is where club selection becomes much more important. Uphill, make sure you have enough stick, and then swing away. Now this is not hitting in the right direction. Well, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. See if he does it here. Solid play, heart of the green. Different day, different hole. Made bogey yesterday. He'll do better this time, it looks like. work right there. He'll settle for par.
Now at the sixth hole, so par three, just under 200 yards. Where's the challenge here, Frank? Well, you've got to love that bunker on the left side, Rich, especially because it's shaped like a letter L. You've got to fly that. The green's not too deep. So really the challenge is trying to flight that ball and amongst the breeze should it kick up. Not terrible, but not his best. An outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really it was a, a rather poor approach shot. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for Birdie. Just ideal. Good speed on that putt, and just a tap in remaining. This would give him the par. Par here's fine, isn't it, Frank? Seventh hole at Lighthouse Point is only 370 yards, Frank. Are you happy if you walk out of here with anything other than birdie? If you hit the fairway, you definitely should be looking at birdie. But the biggest problem here is to decide, Rich, what club to hit off the tee. You could hit a multitude of clubs here. Further up you go, the narrower this fairway gets. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Second shot. Good look at the green. Should be safely on deck. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Getting set at the eighth hole, it's a par three of 165 yards. Break it down for us, partner. This gets really narrow in the middle of this green, Rich. That's sort of the biggest problem. Matter of fact, only had 12 yards from that left side to the right in the middle. Um, and the green itself actually is three times that in length, 36 yards. So straightness is the key here. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Frank, what's ahead after missing the par three here? Well, a tricky little shot coming up, but uh, really, this is a difficult par three. So if you can get this up and down, it still won't be uh, a lost cause. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Workman like hole, he walks away with a par. We move to the ninth hole and we begin to go inland, Frank. I'll miss some of the views along the ocean. I won't miss the nerves with the potential of a golf ball sailing off into the Atlantic Ocean. That said, par five, you think about a scoring opportunity, but then I look at the score card and it says this is the number six handicap hole. That's pretty tough. It is, and the reason why is there's trouble both sides of this fairway, and uh, that's normally sand and cliffs. And the designer's really thrown the boat out. Excuse the pun. We are on the coastline here. This whole dog legs to the left, and uh, ideally, you just sort of like to go fairway, fairway pitch. That's the prudent way to play the hole. But of course, everybody likes to chance the driver and reach the par five and two. Miss, pay the price.
Well, this one is, is offline just a bit. Look out. You know, that one is going to end up in the rough. Not missing by much today, but enough to again be in the bunker. Be in the green side bunker, Frank. Little bit of a problem. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. No problems there. Yeah, it keeps the round going. Keeps the momentum on his side. So nine holes down here at the Cliffs at Lighthouse Point. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. Checking out this 10th hole, Frank. Is this a typo? 592 yards, but it's a par four, not a par five. What gives? The reason why that tee shot, uh, severe elevation, so we can at least sort of chew 30 or 40 yards off that number. But I'm not saying this hole short, that's for sure. So that bunker just at the start of the field on the left certainly comes into play. The other feature, or well, interesting feature here at 10, is the shared green. This green shares that little piece of property with 13 just divided by that little pot bunker in the middle. Not too bad. It's about 23 feet away. He didn't hit the flag stick, but he still has a chance. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. And he do it again today. And that is a phenomenal roll, Frank, from downtown. Standing over the ball here at the par 5 11th. Contact, good result. Mmm, <laughs> he dry. Just tattooed that. Right in the heart of the fairway, green light special. Frank, this is good golfing weather. Nice, strong breeze. Crucial eagle attempt on the way. Locked in on the read and the speed. That may have been a bit too much to ask for there, that distance putt, Frank. Yeah, it's fine to be greedy before you hit the putt, but after you've hit it, two from that distance is fine. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Moving on to the 12th hole now. Par 4, 439 yards. Look out left. And there's rough over there. Long drive, but a bad lie. Uh, wicked. Second shot coming out of the rough here.
Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Birdie here yesterday, trying to do it again today. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. On to the 13th, and Frank, I love golf courses where you run into something you've never seen before. I have never played a par five of 700 or more yards. Here it is. Nothing to argue about there, right in the fairway. Second shot. Green is up above, and this will play at least a club longer. Well, the bad news is he missed his target by quite a bit. The good news, he's still on the green. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Could it be? This one has a chance, and he has it. Beautiful putt. Now at the par 3 14th, over another body of water, Frank, you could make some big numbers on this golf course. I would think if you walk out of here today having shot under par, you have to be really happy. Certainly is big boy golf playing around uh, the cliffs at Lighthouse Point, Rich. And this is another example here at this beefy par three, 240 yards. Uh, you can see Lake Zimmer protects the front of this green and to the right. And that's obviously where they get all their irrigation water from. But uh, there's enough green left of the flag here. That's really what you've got to be looking at, that front left section. Frank, what's the best way to get out the golf ball when it's sitting down just a bit in the rough? You have to accept the fact first and foremost that you're not going to get clean contact. So you have to decide whether the ball's going to come out short or it's going to fly. Because very rarely will it come out the normal distance of what you hit on the fairway. So if it's a little thin and wispy, chances are it might fly. If it's nestled down, you're going to have to take at least another club. And he makes it for par. The round continues at Lighthouse Point. And Frank, the 15th hole is a par four, only 387 yards. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Birdie try again here today. Good putt. Final par three on the back side. It's the 16th, 241 yards. Time to make a move as we are in the finishing stretch here. When you give the scorecard a cursory look, you might think 240-something yards is a difficult hole, but this plays quite a bit downhill, so it plays more around the 200-yard mark. A fairly generous green uh, protected by the bunker. Frank, this one's offline. There's rough and thick stuff over there.
He's going to have to find something, Frank, other than the rough. Yeah, he's uh, this hitting it right and this hitting it left, but when he got to go out of both barrels, the game becomes hard. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Now that is a shot that would be replayed over and over. Now at the 17th and Frank a chance to make a birdie. Who knows, with a couple of huge pokes, you could make eagle three. This is a pretty stout hole at a little bit more than 600 yards. It is, especially if that breeze comes off the water into your face. But uh, normally you protect it here because the hills on the left will block that breeze. Um, bunkers all the way down the right side, you can see that. But yeah, you're right, two big hits. And you might just reach this par five and two. Birdie, perhaps even eagle on a good day. Well, those are good numbers right there, 3-2-0. 320 yards, just crushed it in the fairway. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five, his second shot. was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Hot for Eagle coming up. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Pretty good stroke right there, just to hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Kind of a tricky read. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Well, considering the lead that he has on the rest of the field, a par is all you need. Well, at last we're at number 18, and Frank, I have really enjoyed this golf course. And, and now when you see the lighthouse in the distance, uh, it really makes it that much more special. It is. The, the beacon will always take you home. And speaking of home, this finishing hole, it bends to the left. Uh, a good tee shot will somehow find the fairway and just leave you a short iron in. And, of course, uh, you make three here, and then that smile is going to light up like a beacon. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is your green light special. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on the easy birdie. And getting ready for the puck. Everybody loves him. Birdie on the car. There you have it. Round three is finished, and it was a good one, Frank. Yeah, after three rounds in, uh, you really could start to see who could take home the trophy when it's all said and done. Great play, though, up until this point. Uh, round four should be an absolute thriller.